Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology. Welcome to Cyberbyte, the home of the latest and greatest technology news and reviews in one video every week on YouTube. This week I'm going to be talking about the brand new iPhone handsets, so let's get into this. Recently, Apple launched their brand new iPhone 5C and iPhone 5S in a keynote in Apple Campus in Cupertino, California. The company planned to release the device worldwide on September the 20th alongside a bunch of brand new Apple cases. The iPhone 5C is simply a cheaper version of the iPhone, although it is cheaper the C in 5C doesn't actually stand for cheaper, it actually stands for the word colour. Yes, the iPhone 5C comes in five different colours, green, blue, yellow, red and white. The iPhone 5C has a brand new A6 chip, an 8 megapixel eyesight camera and a 4 inch retina display. The device also has ultra fast wireless and a lot more great features, all packed into a completely new design that feels great in the hand. With a vibrant, lively interface with new features that take full advantage of the technology inside, iOS 7 is made for the iPhone 5C. The new iPhone 5S, titled as Forward Thinking, has been completely reimagined. It now comes in three brand new colours. These are gold, silver and space grey, also known as black in some cases. The device is packed up with an amazing amount of technology in a remarkably thin, light design. This includes Touch ID, an A7 chip with 64-bit architecture and an even more impressive eyesight camera than previously. The iPhone 5S is the first 64-bit smartphone in the whole wide world and iOS 7 was designed with that in mind. One of the most exciting new features from Apple is the Touch ID fingerprint scanner which is built into the iPhone 5S home button as you can see on the screen right now. You can use your fingerprint to unlock the phone and confirm purchases using the App Store. You can register multiple fingerprints, uh, which will then be encrypted and kept on the phone. Your identity will never be accessible to other applications or uploaded to iCloud. The iPhone 5S has six different coloured cases to choose from at the moment. These are brown, beige, black, yellow, blue and red. Apple has also decided to use leather to create their cases. They have also kept them thin to retain as much of the phone slimness as possible. The red case is actually a bracket RED bracket product, which means Apple will donate a proportion of the sales to fight against AIDS. Plus, these brand new cases will also be compatible with the older model handset, the iPhone 5. According to Apple, these cases will cost $39 each in the US and £25 each in the UK. For the iPhone 5C, on the other hand, Apple is sticking to the budget price, offering its cases for $29 in the US and £18 in the UK. The iPhone 5C's case has been designed with 35 little holes on the back, exposing the handset's true colour, which gives the case a nice effect. Like its high-end brother, six cases are on offer. Apple has chosen to go for more bold colours to match the iPhone 5C's profile which will include black, white, yellow, blue, green and pink. The cases also have small drilled holes that align perfectly with the speakers. Both the iPhone 5S and the 5C docks are the solution to keeping your handset stood upright while being synced and charged at the same time. This is achieved through the usual method of connecting the dock to a computer uh, or to an electrical mains outlet via a USB cable. An audio line out port makes it easy to connect it to a, a surround sound system or set of speakers as long as you have a standard mini jack which is 3.5mm. The docks are both priced the same at $29 in the US and £18 in the UK and are both aesthetically identical, the only difference is that they are sized to fit different devices. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked the roundup of the iPhone uh, 5C and the iPhone 5S. There will be links down in the description below to Apple's web pages and our own. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.